Okay, let's try and balance this simple equation here. We've got sulfuric acid plus sodium hydroxide goes to sodium sulfate plus water. Now, it looks quite complicated. I said it was a simple reaction, but it looks quite complicated. Let's see, um, see how we can do this. So the first thing, we go through the method. We will add up all the hydrogens on this side. So we've got one there, another one. And there, there's three. Add up all the sulfurs. Only got one sulfur. Oxygens. We've got one, two, three, four. We've got another one there, so it's five. And the last element we've got is sodium. So we've got an A there. And all that goes over to here. So let's have a look how many we've got here. We've got two sodiums now. So we know we need to try and add one over here. So let's let's write here two sodiums. Let's go back up to the top. Let's how many hydrogens have we got? We've got two on this side. H H. How many sulfurs? We've still got one sulfur, that's good. How many oxygens? For the one there, so that's five, so that's good as well. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so you can clearly see that it's not balanced. So we've got extra hydrogen here and an extra sodium here. So where would we get that one from? So if we've got two sodiums, the only way we can add another sodium is to add one here. So we'll add that to there. In fact, I'll just just undo that, I'll do that in a different colour, then we can see it. There we are, two, add a two there. What does that give us? That gives us an extra one here. An extra oxygen. Oh, let's see, Disa more disasters. An extra hydrogen. Let's add all these in green. And that's just by adding another equivalent of sodium hydroxide. But, how does that look on this side? Well, now we've got an extra oxygen and we've actually got two, we need two more hydrogens. So I need, we need, in order to balance, we need to add two hydrogens and an extra oxygen. Well, that's H2O, so we could do that just by adding one more equivalent of water. So let's, let's do that equivalent of water. That balances that. Let's move this over here then. And this one over here. How does that look? So now we've got four hydrogens. That's good. I'll give that a tick now. Tick. One sulfur. Yeah, that's good. How many oxygens have you got? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That balances. And two sodiums. Fantastic. So we've balanced that equation by adding another amount of sodium hydroxide, but we had to have, add another amount of water as well to balance that. So that is fully balanced now. And this is a really good method for looking at balancing equations. Just write the elements down. It's as simple as that. Unless you've got a really complex molecule, which you probably won't have at this stage anyway, this is a really good way of balance in the mal out. So that's sulfuric acid plus sodium hydroxide going to sodium sulfate and water. Nice and balanced there. So until next time, bye for now.